Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light. I'm excited about my brand new painting. This is The Garden of Hope. The Garden of Hope features a new subject matter for me. This is a stone urn, a classic garden motif. I've had the experience recently of traveling to the south of France and to England in the Cotswolds and down in the Hampshire region. And as I've seen the grand gardens in settings in Europe, I am amazed how often there is statuary and beautiful stone elements within the gardens. Of course, I've painted many gardens over the years and all of them feature light, but this series really focuses on light as a symbolism for blessing. Now, the first painting in the series was entitled The Garden of Grace. Garden of Grace is a composition that features a gate that is open and of course the light is pouring from above, bathing the garden with light. I'm reminded of God's grace as being the way we measure His love for us, the fact that He cares for us and provides for our needs. That to me is grace. If there's one word that I hear repeatedly as I travel and meet with collectors all over the country, it is the word hope. People often tell me that my paintings bring an inspiration of hope. I met with a family recently who had undergone a tragic battle for the life of their little child, and they shared with me that throughout the difficulty of that time, they were inspired daily by hope, hope that they saw in that painting, in the light pouring from that work of art. So in Garden of Hope, I take the idea of hope and I try to encapsulate it in a single image. Garden of Hope takes that symbolism of light as an emblem of faith and carries it to the concept of hope. And we see the light pouring from the upper left of the composition, very symbolic of hope that we have to face each day. My painting features a classic urn. In fact, if you look carefully, you will see carvings, actual sculptural carvings of faces and other design motifs. These carvings were done by master stone workers who used techniques first developed during the Greco-Roman era of civilization when statuary was thought to be sacred. Garden of Hope features two figural elements on the left of the central cross. You see a figure of an angel, or possibly it could be the Madonna. Christ looks out at the right of the urn, staring upon all creation as he is infused with color from the overflowing flowers in the garden urn. The central motif of the urn is the classic Roman cross bearing the carved initials I-N-R-I, which suggests the Latin symbolism for Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. When you dim the light on the Garden of Hope, you will really see why I call this series the Garden of Light Collection. The patches of light on the foreground really illuminate as the light level goes down. And of course, you'll see the edge lighting that I had so much fun with on this painting. That lighting will really glow as the light comes down. There's a lot of colors in this painting. I had fun working different hues and different light levels into each part of the canvas. I liked turning on little spots of light here and there in the composition and using flowers and foliage of all different color. Garden of Hope, the second piece in my Gardens of Light collection. This is a classic composition, very stately. For those of you who enjoy a more formal sense of decoration, this painting will be a powerful centerpiece, perhaps in a dining room, in a formal living room, in any setting where you want to enhance a timeless sense of tranquility. And especially those of you who might need a little extra hope, and which of us doesn't from time to time, perhaps this painting will be a silent messenger 
or a beacon of light in your home, giving you a little extra hope just when you need it. To each of you, I say, God bless.